As we all know, Doom is a first-person shooter, and we are used to seeing the game from this perspective. You're not even supposed to look up and down, and even if you do, most of the action is right in front of you anyway. Despite that, level designers often put a lot of effort into making rich environments with a lot of detail. It's cool to move the camera freely and appreciate the architecture. Or the intense battles. Ever since I got into classic Doom, I was fascinated by its engine aesthetics. Each of my videos up to this point includes in-engine clips, made using a sort of cinematic approach. In this video, I'll finally share the tools and knowledge to enable such camera work in Doom. Let's get started. The main attraction for today's video is something I call the Cameraman. Oh, no, no, not him. Cameraman is a mod for GZ Doom, which I have created to do the camera work in the Doom engine. The process is simple. First interactively draw a path for camera, then fine-tune parameters from the special menu, and finally play it back. You can then capture the screen and put the clip into your video. You can also create multiple camera profiles and save a collection of them. This works similarly to demos, you can replay them later whenever you want. This mod is completely free and open source. A link in the description points to a GitHub page. Everything is there, the download, the source code and the user manual. The manual is illustrated and not very long, even after reading the first couple of pages you will know enough to start making basic stuff. Anyways, let's make a quick overview. First of all, why even make a mod? Well, you can perform the camera work manually. Hide the UI, hide the weapons, put in the flight code and start filming. But you will quickly realize, smooth camera rotations are impossible with a mouse. Following a fluent curve is also out of the question. The best you can do is move in a straight line and keep looking in the same direction. Then what about the existing ZDoom toolset? I'm talking about built-in moving camera and interpolation point actors. They allow you to set up a series of waypoints and activate them to make a cutscene. It's a fine system, but there are a few inconveniences. First, the way you control the camera speed is to set the amount of time to travel between points. Time is measured in intervals of 1 8th of a second. This doesn't give you enough precision to easily achieve the exact speed. Let's say we have a segment 100 units long. This would be our possible options for speed. Look at it this way. Green area roughly shows what's possible and red what's not possible to achieve not without inconvenient workarounds. The second problem is camera pitch limitations. Camera pitch controls the vertical angle and it only allows for 8-bit values at interpolation points. Let's say we want to turn the pitch from 0 to 6. For a fluent transition, the amount of path segments must be a factor of 6, which gives us very few options. This greatly limits the path complexity and the amount of control over camera speed. So, yeah, I ended up ditching the whole interpolation point business and just controlled the camera position and angle directly. This method was way easier to use, and so far a single video on this channel stands as a proof of concept. And then, some time was spent to make the mod more approachable, plus constructing the manual, and that's how the cameraman was born. So anyway, what can you make with it? Cameraman provides a simple way to make short dynamic clips with camera movements. There are three types of paths available. First, the linear path. It's just a straight line, but you can do a lot with it already. Make a simple flight through a corridor. Add a little rotation to make it more interesting. Climb up the z-axis to show off the map verticality. The second path type is radial. It too is quite versatile. Make the camera orbit something. Have it spiral in or out. Or follow a curve in the form of an arc. The final path type is Bezier. Or is it pronounced Bezier? It can be tricky to work with, but produces curves which cannot be achieved otherwise. There are other things worth mentioning. For extra precision, you can always manually put all the exact coordinates. I recommend using any map editor for a reference. Also, the cameraman works well in tandem with demos. For example, you may record your gameplay and then play it back applying the third-person camera. And remember, providing the stage is on you. Be it a playthrough or some sort of a demonstration set. The right camera may give you a nice final touch. Yeah, I know, I may have tooted my horn the whole video, but I sincerely hope the project helps the community, even in a small way. I realize it's a very niche tool, but maybe a few people will find use for it. If you are a mapper, make a cool trailer for a project. If you are a modder, make a cool trailer as well. And if you are an aspiring movie maker, make a sequel to the legendary Imp Encounter. The project is very likely to see improvements later, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching, and see you around.